<laughs> this is this is so cool though because here's the thing is that um this means that you can tune things up like somebody who has representations like this you can make this work for you so cool you know um so it's like I, I don't know exactly what it said um it's, it's not possible for the voice to actually do it it's right because it's a morphed voice of man yeah. and woman yeah okay Here's where it gets weirder. Where is it? Is it on the right or on the left? Well, it used to be mm. mom, dad, and mm -hmm. now it's like coming through. Okay, <laughs> so so can you get a um, a piece of this internal dialogue going for me? It comes from behind you and then through your head? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so what is the emotional tone? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> hectoring like lecturing like mm. great great vocabulary by the way um <clears throat> artifice hectoring i'm learning so many words by working with you is, is this also <laughs> from being a high school teacher yes okay um um so, so it's, le it's lecturing you it's it's and, and like poking me like like criticizing me like um nag nagging criticizing lecturing okay yeah D does it say the same types of things to you over and over oh, or yeah. oh okay. yeah okay do you um w what are those is there how does it start and then what is the pattern well look at you've done again and um but lectury like look what you've done again yeah and, yeah and um oh that can't be good that can't be good and this is in um this is in respect to your relationship oh yeah especially yeah especially with relationships with men okay like closely relationships with men awesome all right so <clears throat> well let's let's get weird um imagine that this voice had an image okay so if you were to transform this voice into an image what is the image that you get it's it's that image it's somebody doing this mm -hmm. who is that person do you know them or is it uh, a random person it's mom and dad Together, both of them? Like fading in and out. Mm. Cool. Or tag teaming them. You know how parents will do. Like, go talk to your mother. Go talk to your father. <laughs> <laughs> they just they would take turns beating up on you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Mom. All right. Well, at least they're on the same team. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. <laughs> um, what's their positive intention? protecting me from yet another disaster a disaster yeah yeah okay protecting you from yet another disaster yeah two divorces and then mm. boyfriend after boyfriend of just not good so what are they really protecting you from my bad decisions okay so is it safe to say they want you to make good decisions yeah hmm. what's important about making good decisions so at least i've done my part of due diligence it, i've done what i can to avoid disaster to avoid um wasting my time that's another thing i i'm constantly thinking of men as a waste of my time mm, yeah and that's a lot of the internal dialogue is that is that them saying this is a waste of time yeah Okay.
All right. Good. And what's, um, let's stick with this for a second. What's important about um, doing your due diligence and making a decision? You said not, it not being a disaster, avoid disaster. So if you were to avoid that disaster, you know, what else, what happens when it isn't a disaster and you don't waste your time? Not sure. Oh, that's interesting. So if you were to um, avoid disaster, what do you get to feel? Light. Mm -hmm. Happy. Good. Peace. Good. So you'd feel lightness, happiness, peace. What about if you weren't wasting your time? So if you're doing, you know, if you were valuing your time in the way that matters to you, what's important about that? Connection. Mm -hmm. Experience. Experiencing what? Experiencing a relationship, experiencing um, a life. I feel like because of all of this, my life's been on hold for a while. You know, I said I would, I said I might successfully date after I get my engineering degree. And then I said after I get my license. And like how? Mm -hmm how long am I going to put my life on hold? Yes. And how, how long are you going to put your life on hold? And is it, so this is where <clears throat> every belief starts to fall in on itself, right? Where you start to realize there's a paradox happening that this, this intention was there to value your time. And by um, having this type of internal dialogue, that's there to protect your time and to avoid disaster. Essentially what's happening is you're putting your life on hold, which is not making the use of your time. And um, if your life is on hold, then you're not really living. <clears throat> and so, which is in and of itself a type of disaster. Yeah. Right. And so um, I want you to check in with that voice with mom and dad over there and thank them for them being there for you to <clears throat> value your time and to make better decisions with men and to help you to be happy and have peace and have relationships and experience life. And can you give them happiness and peace? Can I give mom and dad happiness and peace? Mm -hmm. hmm. You know, I think I've tried to give mom and dad happiness and peace my whole damn life instead of giving it to myself. Well, since, I, since they're been, not really here, and right. since this is just your projection of them, but, right? Um, first of all, <clears throat> why don't you just ask that projection? Just say, would you be willing to find a new way to communicate with me so that I can be happy and peaceful and make good decisions and value my time and relate and do the things that I want to do in a way that's not critical, in a way that <clears throat> is supportive? Yeah. What did they say? They said, yeah. So why don't you close your eyes for a second? And <clears throat> I would like your own inner wisdom. Some people call it your unconscious. Now to go through and generate 
two or three or four options of the way this voice can begin to transform and talk to you in a new way. So that you can access that happiness and that peace because that's always within you in any moment that you choose to access it, to become aware of happiness, to become aware of peace. And to find a supportive way to speak to you, to make good decisions with men and at any other time it's important for you. So I want you to, your inner wisdom now to generate three options or more of how this voice can begin to speak to you. And just let me know what you're noticing. It could say hmm. what it could prefer. <clears throat> so what would that be like? And phrase it in a way that of information that I could use. So then I could use the information. Hmm. So it might say, you know, I would prefer you didn't text him right now. Hmm. Not a it's not an appropriate time to text him. You have stuff to do. He has stuff to do. Interesting. Or I I would prefer that you focus on yourself for a minute. Hmm. Or I would prefer that you let that go. That mm -hmm. that may or may not happen. Okay. So, um, how is know, that? It's it's a lot gentler. Okay. And warmer. And warmer. And so it's interesting to me because the voice is um, giving you these ideas or these suggestions, and it's saying, "I would prefer if you did X, Y, Z." Who is the I that's saying that? <laughs> Probably me. I mean, it's all me, but um, mm. my inner wisdom. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't see a. I don't see a person. I'm just asking. I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah. So just try try this. So try and be in a situation, either from the past or a time where this will happen again in the future, in which you used to have that old critical voice. And notice how it's either changed or not. Just notice what happens now. Wow. I just had like a, like a star or or um firework display which was weird i've never had that happen um is that a good thing yeah it, i don't know um yeah it was like a shift um And a sensation. Yeah. Um, no, that feels much better to use the I prefer hmm. with the better kind of voice. I think that was actually three suggestions in one because it was a warmer affect and a warmer, warmer delivery and hmm. more more of an embrace kind of delivery instead of a it was more of a invitation maybe yeah yeah do you need anything else here is there any resistance to this or uh it does this voice need any other resources maybe in some situations to really grab your attention or is there anything anything that you can 
is there anywhere where this voice needs extra resources? Think about a worst case scenario. Like think about the time in the past when that critical inner dialogue was really bad and go be in that situation now and just notice what's changed. Self-compassion. Compassion. You've been talking about compassion a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I don't need the alarm bells if I have the compassion. No. And so when you have this gentler invitation to make better decisions, does that allow you to make a better decision without the stress? Yeah. Cool. Do you need anything else? Million dollars. Need a million, million dollars. dollars. <laughs> well, okay, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I think that just I think that just fixed it because 